Sandy Alderson has uh, addressed uh, the media to give uh, all you Met fans an update on who is going to be the brand new director of baseball operations slash general manager. And a very, I can't wait to find out what he said. Evan, uh, do, you have, do you have any idea what he said? Oh, hold on one sec, Evan. They're telling me that we have uh, Rich Ackerman, oh, really? our update guy, has a breaking update. Uh, let's go to Rich. As first reported by Carton and Roberts on the fan last week, Sandy Alderson announced today that he is not going to hire a new president for what? the team, choosing to do the job himself. <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 Let's go back in time. Let's go just to last week, a few days ago. Yes. What took place on the Carton and Roberts show a few days ago? My belief has been from Jump Street, and that is that Sandy Alderson recognizing I'm still a spry, young, older man. We now added another 20 million bucks to the coffers because of the Robinson Cano positive PED test. Mm -hmm. Why am I bringing in a guy to do something I can do myself? Do you? Year one. And when it all plays out that way. Yes. You know this happened. I win again. Guess I win again. That's how it goes, Evan Roberts. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. When a plan comes together, I love it. Sandy Alderson has announced he'll be the director of baseball operations exactly <laughs> as I told you a week ago. He pulled a Dick Cheney. He did. He, you were right. I mean, I hand it to you. It wasn't Carton and Roberts reporting. It was Craig Carton the show. The show is so show I can comes take first. some love for this. What not? Carton and Roberts? Okay. The show comes first. Everyone knows it was me. So I'm going to cling. The show to, comes. First. I'm going to cling to your bosom and be a part of this report. Get on that cheat and ride it for all it's worth, kid. Yeah. So there you go. Now, I told you that was going to happen now, because it look, makes the most sense. Look! 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 You are right. Okay, I, I I need to be a man who admits when someone else was right. You are you right. right. I am wrong. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, you are right. I don't know if the reasons you gave were necessarily the reasons because I think we could speculate, in fairness, on why Sandy decided. Sandy said publicly that they had a difficult time getting people to interview for the job That's because it nonsense. was considered a lateral move. That's nonsense. But the other thing, which maybe you'll buy more of, because I think you suggested this, is maybe. This is wait and see with Theo. That maybe well, this that's is part of it, sure. But okay. like I said, there's no okay. candidate better than Sandy Alderson. I told you guys, I sat here every day and blew that smoke out of my mouth. And maybe you guys don't want to pay attention. Or oh, it's Carton saying it. He doesn't like to. No, I like the human nature. Well, you said it was an ego thing for Sandy. Well, it's to do ego. It. I, I don't know if I believe nature. that. It doesn't matter the why. I had it right. But then why? Because I understand Craig, Craig, humanity. Then why go through the charade of trying to interview people? It was for not two a weeks? charade. So then what happened? What happened was he Sandy Olson said to himself, self, I can do this. Why am I bringing someone else in here? Right. And maybe a year from now, Theo Epstein will want to take over the reins. But I've got the shot right now. Why not do it myself? I said it from day one that that's exactly you did say what was that. going to happen. No, no, you did. And you know what? This really did turn out to be Sandy Alderson pulled a dick. Cheney, he really did. And there's nothing wrong with that. Dick Cheney served eight years as vice president. Pull a dick. He did. Mets baseball 2020. <laughs> Pull a dick. That's Cheney. what took place. Cheney. That's exactly. And by now, the way, I don't blame Sandy Alderson. Matter of fact, Tommy, get me Sandy on the phone right now. <laughs> I don't blame him at He's all. He's in a Zoom meeting. Dude, I predicted this was going to happen. Oh, I told you it was going to happen. Are you going to be insufferable And it happened. Every time you get something right, and you know the broken clock is right twice a day, are you going to become insufferable? Listen, listen. Not insufferable. I got poo-pooed. I poo-pooed you, yeah. You know Everyone what I poo-pooed poo me. I poo-pooed you because I thought... Sandy at his age was just helping He's Steve a young 72-year-old. I'm not picking on his age. I'm just saying. I thought it was more to get the approval and, okay, I'm going to hire some baseball people. I do believe his story, though, that they ran into trouble. They couldn't get interviews with Dave Stearns. They couldn't get interviews with a lot of guys. No, no, no. We didn't know one guy. What do you mean one guy? There well, were other guys they tried to get interviews with. They weren't approved because it was we considered a lateral We don't know move. that. We don't know for sure. Milwaukee's but the only team that said no. Like, the Indians didn't say no to Chernoff talking to him. No, but you don't, we don't think, know, right? So you don't think other guys were refused? I think there were other guys I don't guys know. Refused. I don't know. All okay. I know is this. It made sense from Jump Street that he would keep the job you, for himself, and that's exactly what he's doing. I said it the day he well, got he is hired. Gonna, he is going to hire a general manager. Come he on. did say that. Oh, you don't think he's going to hire a GM either? Listen, I told you he was <laughs> keeping the job. In. Okay, go all in. Is he not hiring a GM? Uh, do you need one? 
He's doing the job. Okay. And by the way, he'll be very competent at it. Sandy did a good job. This I'm not the one sense. who called him a retread. And I, he, he is a retread, no, but it makes not. sense. Like to me, adding another layer of executive for decision making made no sense when you consider the guy who's the president has more baseball yeah, experience than anybody I, he could have hired. I don't disagree with you, but the way he explained it to us when he was on with us is he wasn't going to be involved and in what the did day I say? to day. No, God, we, we got it. You were right. I'm admitting oh, that. I was right. I'm just saying that that's not the way he explained it at the time. You are right. I am wrong. Oh, so well, something obviously changed. Now, whether it's his ego, as you say, whether it was the lack of good interviews that we're able to get, maybe it's waiting for Theo. Maybe it is that. To tell me I have to go to Rich Ackerman. Rich Ackerman has, has an update. If you guys want to play that, here's Rich Ackerman with a, a 2020 <laughs> update here on The Fan. You guys have a good as first reported by Carton and Roberts on the fan last week, Sandy Alderson announced today that he is not going to hire a new president for the team, choosing to do the job himself. Okay, thank you, Rich. <laughs> Appreciate that, buddy. There was another piece of news. What is it? Uh, Luis Rojas will be back to manage the team in 2021. Well, uh, as, by the way, and what did Sandy tell us when he did the exclusive interview with us? If it was up to him, right. he would bring well, Rojas it back. it is up to him now. <laughs> now it's up to him. Now it is. There you go. Now, does this mean, because this is what I think Met fans are antsy about. I know I am. All right, when is the first shoe going to drop? I mean, it's November 23rd. In regards to what? Free agency, trades, moves, let's go. When are we going to get this started? Well, has there been a lot of movement elsewhere? Nothing. Right. So I would just chill on that. No, no, no. And I am chilling, and I think it's important to chill. Even though you've got a lot of money, doesn't mean you need to set the market. But you could say, look, here's who we want. Let's go jump in and make it happen. And so far, nothing has happened. It's been a very, very quiet beginning to this offseason. Uh, agreed. I'm okay with Sandy doing the job. Sandy did a hell of a job as general manager for this team. The I first guess I would think maybe after this week, get Thanksgiving out of the way. Yep. Uh, and then, you know, I think... You know, stuff will start to heat up. I think there's going to be a lot of movement, as you have said. You know, January, February. Yes, I do. That's when you have a slow lot of guys market. will start signing. Yeah. Slow, slow moving market. But now, according to Sandy, it will just be a general manager. But Sandy did confirm he'll be more hands on mm -hmm. with the baseball moves, as first reported by specifically Craig Carton. On Carton and Roberts. Carton and Roberts. And I did, right. I did scoff right. at you a little bit. Well, a lot I of did. people did. Like, then you have these guys out there. Who is Anthony DeComo? Oh, he's a what? great, he's a reporter. He covers For, the Mets. Is that right? Yeah. What about him? Well, he's, he, he's not giving us credit. No one's giving you credit. I'm not, we're not going to get credit I, from someone, the establishment. Where's Ed Coleman? <laughs> How about it, right? Someone asked Andy Martino. How about Martino? Sweeney Murdy? Where's Sweeney Murdy? Someone asked Andy Martino, when are you going to credit him? Right. That's how we refer to it. And he's like, who's him? And he's like, Craig Carton, you said it last week. Right. I didn't know that. Because there's, there's no, I didn't know that. Oh, no, I'm so right. I, I know. Kevin Kugler didn't know that I had the Giants <laughs> saving Thanksgiving either. Do you think one, one a day for Daniel Jones yeah, hang on. may end up saving Thanksgiving? Do you think for one report? Remember this failure is an orphan, success has many fathers. Do you think, that's good. Do you think one reporter will credit? You and no, the show. I not don't. one. You I don't, don't think tomorrow in the newspaper, not one person will say, you know what? As said first by Carton on Carton and Roberts, yeah. Sandy Alderson is pulling a dick. Cheney. Oh, I think there's only two guys that would put it out there. Neil Best and Andrew Marchand. Yeah, but say, they're, not, they're not covering they the They might say a great opening few weeks for Carton and Roberts. They correctly predicted <laughs> that Sandy Alderson would keep the job for himself. You know, that'd be that kind of thing. Because I don't think, have ratings come in? Do we have any ratings around here? I'm trying to get, I'm getting your ratings right now, Mac. I put in the request. <laughs> I'll be interested to see them. Oh, I'll be interested to <laughs> in see them. So not one Met reporter will eventually, so. but maybe a media critic will. That doesn't count. No offense to them. Oh, why doesn't it count? It doesn't count. They're reporting on what took place yeah, in because the first two weeks Met of the show. Reporters. It just, it's not the same. They're reporting on the radio, not the Mets. Well, I think you could give the audience some context to what we did nah, in the first you know two what? weeks. You know who's going to come around? I'll give you the exact guy. Ed Coleman. Well, I, isn't, shouldn't Ed Coleman, as the longtime Met beat reporter for the fan, put out there in whatever Met report he does, Carton and Roberts were the first to tell you that this is exactly Does he even do any Met reports right now? I don't know. I'll tell you the newspaper columnist. I have confidence in him. Puma. He's going to come through. Mike? Yep. I believe that Mike Puma yeah. will eventually, he of the New York Post, he eventually will 
utter, or not utter, but he will write in the newspaper that I as said this first was reported happen. by Carton on Carton and Roberts yeah. on WFAN, Sandy's pulled a Dick Cheney. Because I did in tell fact, you he'll use the Dick Cheney week. line, too. I think he'll go all the way with it. What about Ryan Russo? Why won't he say it? Who? Ryan Russo. Ryan Russo? How do you pronounce it? Russillo? Russo? I don't know who you're Ruco. talking about. Ruco? Ryan Ruco. Ryan Ruco. <laughs> what does he have to do with this? He's a reporter. <laughs> no, he's not. But how come he's not uh, giving me credit? He's a broadcaster. Yeah, but anybody yeah. can report news. Yeah. You don't doesn't have to Ryan, be a reporter. How do you pronounce it? Rucos? Rucos? Ruco. Why doesn't Ryan Ruco put out in his thing, Carton and Roberts, first to correctly predict Sandy Alderson? Because he's, the not, job. he's not a news breaker. He's a baseball so guy. Yeah, but I don't think he's going to tweet Who's it. Who's Ryan Russo? I have no idea. He should report it, too. <laughs> shouldn't uh, he? Or no? You're saying he shouldn't report it? You know why I think Mike Puma's going to do it? Did he do it already? No, 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 no. Does I'm he gonna, follow you on Twitter? Not just that. So tell he, him. I'm a, no, hold on. I'm going to give you my reasoning. Puma tweeted at me about an hour and a half ago correcting something you said, which means he listens, so that's good. Correcting something I said? Yeah, yeah. He mentioned what did that I Ray that Hanley wrong? never coached in the NFL as well. Remember how you Who? were going up? Ray Hanley. Remember former Giant coach? Ray Hanley. Yeah. So remember how you that's said true. there's only... We right. have a, no, no, we're not arguing here with Puma on who's right or wrong. The point is, my reasoning is Puma clearly listens to the show. Well, why don't you reach out to him and say... What do you say, want me to tell him? I mean, aren't you... I don't believe in that. No, because here's why. I like Puma, but I'm not going to say to Puma... Please. No, you? no, you don't do that. You don't say please. Then what do you say? Say, hey, Jack. Hey, Jack. He covers this. This Puma cover the Mets? Yeah. Well, then he'll do his job. But he also listens to the show. So yeah. I respect. But right now he's probably on a conference call with the Mets. No, I agree that. I mean, he may not be listening to this right now, but I just have faith that by the time that article is published in the New York Post tomorrow. Yes. He will realize, that's right, I listened to those two guys. Carton was going on and on about, let me credit him. What do you have, uh, Tommy? A uh, friend of the program, uh, KFC from Barstool. Yeah. Sandy, this is on Twitter. Sandy Alderson pulled a Dick Cheney and decided he's just keeping the job for himself, as first reported, reported by Craig Carton online yeah. and Carton and Robert. There you go. KFC. Because KFC. And he used the Dick <laughs> Cheney line, too. He went all the way with it. Well, right, because he K- wants to stay on the bocce ball team. Well, that's, KFC that's and I are bocce certain. ball partners, but right. KFC isn't worried about his place in life. So he tells the truth. He feels comfortable, as he should. Yeah, like you yeah. give credit where credit is due. That's right. Yeah. That's all. That's all it is. Yeah. That's very simple to me. Okay. So you don't. So what's your point? Do you believe that any of these writers? I, wouldn't, I will... gotta call KFC. My daughter saw his boss out with someone very well known. Nice. At a Florida restaurant last week. I gotta talk to KFC about that. <laughs> what? You gotta give more than that. Just, so I'm not saying who it is. I'm not saying who was. <laughs> My daughter was at a restaurant before she came home right. in South Beach. Sweet. And saw Dave. Yeah. El Presidente. Yes. At a very well known restaurant with a very well known person. And I've not seen it man out there or, anywhere. Man, man or woman? Woman. So you think there's. Uh... He does wear skinny jeans, though. Nice. Yes. Yes. My man. I got to talk to Kevin about that. You think he knows? No. I don't think anybody. Oh, knows. so you're giving him news, basically. Yeah, I got to give him some As news. As first reported by first Craig Carton. reported by me. <laughs> yeah, I got. I, I got to see what he thinks about that. So no reporter will eventually give you credit. No, that's fine. I'm just asking. I'm asking for a prediction. Is. It is what it is. I believe in Puma. The, the listeners know what's up. That's all that matters. All right. And my listen, our own update guy did it. That's true. Rich Ackerman got it right. Good job by Anthony Jamelli on Twitter. He tweeted at Puma, are you listening to Carton and Roberts? And Mike said, no, I'm on the Alderson call. Yeah, well, yeah. I said he can't listen but right now. Trust me, he'll get the info and you know he's going to want to credit you. go to radio.com, yep. hit the rewind button, yep. listen to the same CBS TV commercial 30 times, and then listen to <laughs> us as we talk about what took place here. Do you have two kidneys? Well, then you can have one of mine. <laughs> That's a funny line. There you go. I believe in Puma. I'll leave it at that. That's your guy, huh? Well, he's not my guy. I just believe in him. I don't know him. I mean, I follow him on Twitter, but that doesn't mean anything. I do not follow him. I think he's a good reporter. I think he's going to know that, hey, I should give Craig and the show credit for that first report that you had last week. I got to call KFC during the break. You're really that curious about this now? No, no. I got to tell him who his boss was with. Well, can you tell me? I'm curious. No, if I could tell you on the air, if I wanted to say it on the air, I would have said it on the air. You don't feel comfortable saying it on the air? No, because I think it's funny. But then why wouldn't you say it on the air? I can say it off the air. Oh, okay. But I think the audience wants to know now. That's a good point. I mean, you just, you put it out there. You can't even blame me for for get trying to get more. I mean, you said something that I think a lot of people in the audience are like, hey, I want to know who Portnoy was with. And if it was public, 
right? I mean, it's at a restaurant. There's, then there's nothing you're doing wrong. So why don't you say it? Okay. Good. The fourth child of the President of the United States of America. Oh, really? Is that Tiffany? Tiffany Trump. Tiffany Trump? Yep. How about that? How about that? Wow. Sorry, KFC. Now you know. There you go. Look at that. Yeah. So you think, what do you think is going on there? I have no idea. I think that was Marla Maple's daughter, if I'm not mistaken. Was it? Yeah. How many kids, how many different no women idea. does he have kids with? I have no idea. I think it's three, right? I don't or is know. it two? It's three, right? Is it two? I don't know. Tiffany Trump. Wow. Yeah. And so your daughter saw this. She was at the same restaurant. Huh. Did yeah. she take a picture? <laughs> No, she doesn't think pictures. That'd <laughs> be she, weird. Did she text you immediately? She told me when she got home. <laughs> did she say, Dad? Because she, she wants to meet the owner of this restaurant. Oh. And she's begging me to introduce her. And I don't personally know the owner. Right. Um, yeah. Wow. So she goes, oh, I guess he was here last night when I was here. I go, who? She goes, aren't you friendly with Dave Portnoy? And I said, I wouldn't say we're friendly. Like, mutual admiration may be the best way to put it. You know, I did talk to him about maybe working there before I went away. Uh, so I wouldn't, we're not friends. We don't speak frequently. Uh, I'm friendly with KFC, yes. So she goes, oh, he was there with Tiffany Trump. Go, All right. <laughs> there you go. And I didn't even think twice about it for some reason until right now. You know what that means. If things go a certain way in 2024, Dave Portnay may be the, quote, senior advisor to the president. You never know. You never know. I guess it's <laughs> on the table. happens when you're the It's about. on the table. 877-337-6666. <laughs> Carton and Roberts on the fan.